the intelligence of things, blockchain, and the future of computing. As we instrument the world, we see an ever-increasing number of internet-connected devices that can process information and input or receive outputs of data in real time. This is commonly known as the Internet of Things, IoT, but as cognition is applied to almost all new IoT devices, IoT now more accurately stands for the intelligence of things. As AI has developed, so has the knowledge that intelligence is essential to tapping into the full potential and promise of internet power devices. The purpose of intelligent things is then to connect us more closely with the physical world and share information with us about the tools we use, the homes and buildings we live in, and the cars we drive. Due to the amount of information internet-empowered devices receive, and the number of these connected devices at our fingertips, without some kind of intelligence, harnessing this information for appropriate diagnostics, predictions, understanding, and recommendations, the usefulness of this information would be limited by its own complexity and scale. When AI is applied to the IoT, we not only get systems that infuse intelligence into the physical world, but also learn from it. This is what can be defined as the Smart IoT or Cognitive IoT. The Internet of Things along with consumer interaction and existing text, video and image data create the very foundation for learning that AI requires. In understanding the goals of an individual, organization, product or service, AI systems can present unbiased hypotheses, reasoned arguments and recommendations. In this, AI is helping individuals and businesses to achieve those goals based on objective evidence or empirical data and immense processing power. By deploying machine learning based AI applications into instances of products, services, processes and operations, it can help us understand and optimize our surroundings, environments, products and processes. These ML-based applications learn from interactions with humans and their experiences with their environment in a manner that is not deterministic. This enables AI solutions to keep up with the volume, uncertainty and complexity of information generated by the IoT. Simply put, our products, services, processes and operations become infused with cognition and are constantly learning and optimizing to yield a more personalized, targeted experience to humans as both employees and consumers. This allows for enhanced discovery of the world around us and exploration into things we did not before have the capacity to unveil. For instance, we can create a kind of digital clone or twin of any physical structure, process or tool. The digital clone is an exact replica of the intricate workings of, say, a human body, a business process, or a machine. It has all its data and is like the thing in every way except in the way we can touch it. It is almost a blueprint of the exact thing it is representing, but with more detail and intelligence than a blueprint could ever have. In having a digital clone that is powered by the internet and AI algorithms that are performing constant analysis on the clone, we have a situation where the real thing is sharing itself and interacting in real time with the digital world and constantly updating itself based on new data and insights. With the more related things and their matching digital clones that are working this way, we begin to see the manifestation of a cyber virtual world that is constantly communicating with everything in that world to form an understanding of anything it might need. Seeing all these elements, including humans in relations to each other, allows for deeper understanding, sense-making, improved communication and an enhanced ability to explore. The Smart IoT enables more complete human-centric interactions with people, fast-tracking and extending of human expertise, the infusion of cognition into business processes, operations, products and services, as well as enhanced discovery and exploration. From an IoT functional point of view, Smart IoT provides the augmented intelligence required to drive augmented behavior. The AI engine enables machine intelligence and smart data when it integrates with IoT sensors, devices and networks and results in devices that can communicate, aggregate, analyze and act. These are devices that are constantly analyzing and interacting with their environments the very way humans would. 
This is relevant in almost every industry and in everyday life, as it can provide intelligence to processes and products in financial services, healthcare and life science, retail and e-commerce, high technology and telecommunications, transportation, media and entertainment, education, legal, travel and tourism, resources and mining, utilities, manufacturing, construction and the public sector. The amounts of data that IoT devices are collecting is quite unfathomable. It is correct to question if we have the network infrastructure and capacity to support it and the corresponding solutions to handle the impact of the streams of data and the network required to house and connect this data where it can be used relevantly. Since AI relies on data, and the more data it has from the more sources, the more relevant, holistic and in all ways intelligent it can be. To date, Smart IoT has helped cities predict accidents and crimes, allowed devices and not just sections of properties to have alarms, allowed service providers to manage water, gas and electricity for maximum efficiency and minimum wastage, allowed farmers to monitor soil moisture, weather conditions and crop health to farm more preemptively, prudently and effectively while minimizing wasted resources, empowered doctors with insights into pacemakers and biochips, optimized productivity and prevented downtime through predictive maintenance on equipment and machinery, connects appliances and devices to create smart homes and offices, and allows self-driving cars to communicate with each other. Every day, our potential for intelligence, prediction and intuitive living grows with the endless possibilities of smart IoT and we should expect seeing this with more prominence within the next few years. New business opportunities that can be unlocked with AI, cloud-based technologies, IoT and big data include the introduction of new business models, diversification of revenue streams, global visibility, efficient and intelligent operations and real-time information on mission-critical systems. Not only will new business models assist companies to create new value streams for customers, getting products and services faster into the market and responding more rapidly to customer needs, but also help them monetize additional services on top of traditional business lines. It further makes it possible and much easier for companies to do business in other global territories and to execute and make decisions in real time. From smart IoT with its AI and smart devices to be efficient, safe and scalable, accounting for the fusion of many smart technologies to be interacting at the same time, the IoT networks must be re-architected and upgraded to gradually shift from managing billions of devices to hundreds of billions or even trillions of devices. So, whereas IoT networks in the past were closed and centralized and currently have open access with a centralized cloud, the smart IoT networks of the future will have open access within a distributed cloud. A decentralized IoT network solution should be able to support file storage and transfers, broker messages, arbitrate roles and permissions, and support basic types of transactions such as trustless peer-to-peer -peer messaging, scalable and robust device coordination, and secure distributed data sharing. Blockchain technology has a key role to play to enable such decentralized IoT network solutions. A blockchain is a type of distributed ledger which provides a consensus of replicated, shared and synchronized digital data spread across multiple sites, countries and or institutions. This chain of data is made of packages called blocks and blocks contain unchangeable, digitally recorded data. Although blockchain technology, which underlies cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin and Ethereum, has only been explored for a few years, there are several important implications for the IoT and cognitive systems. For those of us who associate blockchain with currencies, we should prepare to expand our vision of this powerful technology. It provides a way to track the unique history of individual devices by recording a ledger of data exchanges between it and other devices, web services and human users. Combined with AI and IoT devices, blockchain could also enable smart devices to become independent agents, autonomously conducting a spectrum of transactions. Some examples include a vehicle, which might even be a self-driving car, that can diagnose, schedule and pay for its own maintenance. 
an autonomous vending machine that apart from monitoring and reporting on its own stock can also do analytics on its purchase history of its customers to determine which new items need to be purchased and then automatically requesting offers from distributors and or suppliers to deliver these items and pay for them upon delivery and a smart home setup that aims to minimize electricity costs against current grid prices through having the devices and appliances bid with one another for priority so that the washing machine, dryer, vacuum cleaner, water heater and air conditioner can for example all run at the most sensible time. Due to the sheer nature of transparency in that every action and interaction is trackable, Blockchain could be the key to decentralizing systems that have, until now, relied on human authority and centralized servers. Unlike humans, blockchain is infallible to corruption, deception, redaction, bias and omission, making a powerful governing tool and an excellent way to expose and do away with corruption and insist on honesty and transparency. Among other countries, Kenya has embarked on a mission to use blockchain and AI to eradicate corruption and improve on its public services in the most efficient and objective ways. In this way, blockchain networks themselves are being used as a kind of independent agent, also referred to as a Decentralized Autonomous Organization, DAO, or a Decentralized Autonomous Corporation. Our centralized systems that we accept as a part of life these governing bodies that dictate and govern systems such as education, banking and law are under necessary threat by blockchain technologies. These DAOs could effectively replace systems which have traditionally relied on centralized human authorities with trustless, i.e. eliminating trust, and decentralized networks. The aim is to be able to use blockchain in conjunction with other smart technologies for its benefits of complete transparency and security in our smart devices. In order to do this without constant human intervention as a way of autonomous intelligence, we need a way to be able to support file storage and transfers and arbitrate roles and permissions. In this, blockchain, AI and connected devices can function in an automatic, decentralized way and leave the strategizing and thinking to humans and our interactions with other smart devices and systems. In the final chapter, I will introduce a decentralized, human-centric, user-controlled, AI-driven super platform called Sapiens as one of the mechanisms to help democratize AI and its benefits to as many people as possible in a decentralized, hyper-connected world. In a World Economic Forum article, How the Future of Computing Can Make or Break the AI Revolution, the key relationship between AI and computing is highlighted, along with the key computing trends that are shaping AI, which are Moore's Law, that states how processor speeds double every 18 months to two years, with the increase in the number of transistors in an integrated circuit. IoT, with 35 billion connected devices in 2020, likely to grow to 80 plus billion in 2024, that is enabling the collection of exabytes of text, voice, image, and other forms of training data. The evolution of application-specific computing hardware, such as graphical processing units and tensor processing units, with their specialized architectures for parallel computing, and the era of exascale computing of the latest supercomputers that is approaching exaflops, billion-billion floating-point operations per second. One of the challenges to the current status quo of computing is the likely end of Moore's law due to physical limitations such as the size of the metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor that is currently 5 nanometer. For example, Samsung and TSMC entered volume production of 5 nanometer chips in 2020 and becomes more difficult to manage with quantum tunneling effects through the gate oxide layer of these chips. Jim Keller of Intel is more optimistic as there are more than 100 variables involved in keeping Moore's law going with innovations such as new transistor designs and 3D architectures. Another challenge is the increase in data regulation such as GDPR in Europe which is making centralized data handling more complicated and poses a problem for massive data centers and supercomputers which require data to be stored close to the processors. On top of this, we also have the cost of data storage and transfer 
as well as the lack of a computing supportive ecosystem with more layers of software abstraction further away from the hardware and a decline in computing hardware startups with talented people with technology expertise preferring AI startups or joining the major technology companies. A MIT Technology Review article, We are not prepared for the end of Moore's law, mentions the decline of computers as general purpose technology and the shift towards more profitable application specific chips, such as those used for deep learning applications. No wonder that the Stanford University's 2019 AI Index Annual Report stated that AI is outpacing Moore's law every three months, with the speed of AI computation doubling during such a time window. The MIT Technology Review emphasizes the need for investment in finding the next generation computer technologies and concludes that quantum computing, carbon nanotube transistors, even spintronics, are enticing possibilities. But none are obvious replacements for the promise that Gordon Moore first saw in a simple integrated circuit. We need the research investments now to find out though. Because one prediction is pretty much certain to come true, we're always going to want more computing power. Quantum computing is one of the promising computer technologies that offers a new kind of computing that can store and process quantum bits or qubits, which can be made of atoms or subatomic particles, and is a quantum version of the classic binary bit that can be in a coherent superposition of a zero and one state, as opposed to be just in one of the two, and can perform many calculations in parallel. The latter capability makes it well suited to the parallel computations required by optimization and machine learning problems. Several technology companies such as IBM, Google, Microsoft, Honeywell and Amazon are active in the quantum computing sector and are making significant investments to accelerate progress. Quantum computers promises to solve certain complex problems substantially faster than classical computers, with Google for example, who has recently claimed to solve a complex computation in 200 seconds that would have taken the most powerful supercomputer 10,000 years to complete. A claim that IBM disputes, as they believe it could have been solved by a supercomputer in a few days. Google's Quantum AI Laboratory has set out investment opportunities on the road to the ultimate quantum machines and highlighted commercial viable uses for early quantum computing devices such as quantum simulation, for example, modeling chemical reactions and materials, quantum assisted optimization, for example, online recommendations and bidding strategies for advertisements use optimization algorithms to respond in the most effective way to consumers' needs and changing markets. Logistics companies need to optimize their scheduling, planning, and product distribution daily, and improving patient diagnostics for healthcare. And quantum sampling, for example, sampling from probability distributions is widely used in statistics and machine learning. They reckon that faster computing speeds in these areas would be commercially beneficial in sectors from AI to healthcare and finance. IBM Quantum is also building commercially available quantum computing systems that they are making available on the IBM Cloud platform. IBM has highlighted AI, cloud security, supply chain logistics, for example, calculating a massive volume of possibilities to help optimize fleet operations, particularly during risky times, such as during the holiday season, and financial services as high-value target applications. Quantum computers promise to optimize solutions at scale, predict better probability distributions, search patterns in huge unsorted datasets, and also help to integrate data from different datasets. It can also help to accelerate the quality and quantity of image data generated for machine learning training purposes. The possibilities of applying quantum computing includes the development of quantum algorithms for quantum generalizations of traditional learning models to speed up training, to solve decision problems represented by decision trees faster than random processes, significantly enhance search, and develop quantum game theory. Some of the key milestones for quantum-related AI applications include less fallible and more powerful quantum computing systems, a broader and more skillful developer ecosystem, open-source modeling and training frameworks that are more commonly adopted, and plausible AI applications for which quantum computing provides much better performance than classical computing.